Hey, this is Captain Kenny. I'm uh, coming out here for a little inspection on the hives. We installed them two days ago, and we're going to come check out and see how they're doing. I think we might put the uh, entrance reducers in them today. I didn't put them in there that first day because I was like, uh, just uh, trying to get them installed. And it looks like they're all pretty busy right now. All three of them. Or all three sets. I wonder how they're doing with their feed. I had brought more feed out here, but not a lot. Uh, I topped them completely off with feed on Saturday evening. Right now it's Monday morning, so I'm going to go suit up and pop some tops and uh, we'll see how they're doing. They look like they're uh, just doing what they're supposed to be doing. Looks like these four over here are a lot busier than those two. Those actually probably got sunlight first. I hope they're enjoying their new home. My fig tree isn't looking too good. Something keeps wilting the leaves and turning them kind of a dark color. But let's go get suited up and uh, check some bees out. Okay, we've got these little beetle barns. We're gonna prep six of them and uh, put one in each hive because when I was adding the second box, on Saturday night, I noticed that uh, there was uh, beetles here and there. So we've got some Crisco, and the ratio to the bait is two to one. So one teaspoon of uh, boric acid. Let's try that again. Okay, this is take two. Okay, the recipe is one teaspoon of boric acid to two teaspoons of Crisco. Ooh, this is some old Crisco too. I think I'm going to scrape the top off of it. Yep. I don't know if I want to throw that out in the woods or not. Will that dissipate out in the woods? I doubt it. Since it's uh, it's actually just cooking the rest. Okay. It's gone. And we'll use two teaspoons of Crisco. It looks like about two teaspoons right there. And we'll mix it up. I wonder if I leave this in the shed, the roaches will eat this cup clean. What do y'all think? I guess we'll find out. And what you do, get a little dab of it. A little dab in the middle of it. Close it up. You know what they say, a little dab will do you. A little dab. See, the bees can't get in this thing. Oops. I never was known for being graceful. last one. I guess I need to make a half a batch next time because I have half of it left over so I needed to use 
a half a teaspoon of boric acid and uh, a teaspoon of Crisco. See, I got about half of it left. Hmm. Wonder what to do with this. Let me think about it while I'm doing other things. Okay. We can close this stuff up. We can go ahead and light our smoker because that takes a little bit of time and it can be sitting there smoldering while I'm uh, getting suited up. Because I'll tell you what. I am not going to play with those bees without my suit on for a little while because I tell you what, they tore me up on Saturday. I didn't have the uh, legs tucked in my boots and uh, I tell you what, they found those spots awful quick. I got stung about six times, actually seven times. I had a regular Bic lighter, but uh, it was hard to light this, so went by Walmart and picked me up a, a little bit better type of lighter. I need to set me up a little bitty uh, toolbox in here for taking care of these bees that have all my little things I need. Right now I've just got a shelf inside the shed designated for bee stuff. Yeah, I used some of those little uh, starter pellets that came with the smoker, and they didn't smoke worth a flip. I put that burlap in there, and that's the ticket. That, that worked like a champ. Okay. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay. Definitely want to make sure these chairs are sitting on boards because uh, I've already fell and busted my butt once. Okay. I gotta get this situated. This is just not situated yet. All my stuff's falling around. <sighs> Need to come out here and replace this siding on the bottom side of this wall. Got a little bit of rot going on. But all in due time, one project at a time. These bees are high priority to get taken care of right now. As soon as I get done out here, I've got to go to work. I gotta go make some money to feed these suckers. These bees were even crawling in the eyelets of my boots. I have to come up with a better idea on these boots, I guess. Because when I was undressing, I could see their little butts sticking out the back of my eyelets. And these eyelets aren't very big. They're kind of small, but they were crawling in there. Even there was shoelace running through them. Okay. The glasses and the hat off. So we don't run into that problem like we did last time. Put the suit on and find out that I need to have my eyeballs put on.
Okay. Much better. I only put this on one time at the house to try it out to see how it fit. And there's a little bit of practice that needs to be done when you're doing this. You don't want to learn the hard way because the hard way means you're just going to get stung. And we don't want to do that. Hopefully that's sealed up. carrying thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get uh, everything's fall off the shelves and stuff. But ridiculous. Ugh. Gonna take it just nice and calm. Check out the first one. Lift it off and put a beetle barn in there. And we'll keep the stinging down to a minimum, hopefully. Okay. Let's do this. Shit, I need a Lacarian deal. This is ridiculous. But the way I've got these set up is there's two on each stand. That was what was recommended in my B101 class. And that way you can service them from the side. This one, as you notice, is not square on the base. I need to straighten that up. Girls, go back in there. Okay. That's straightened up now. My brush too. Very good when it's windy. 
just gotta put the reducers on there. Huh? Ow, 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 ow. But that was a bunch of shit.
bee got in my suit but it kind of freaked me out.
look very healthy. Wow, that was an experience. I wasn't expecting to get a bee in the, the bonnet here. It kind of freaked me out. I'm crawling on my neck for about 30 seconds and finally stung me. Let's get a little smoke going and get them away from us. have to quit this. They did not like having their fish for the end. It's gonna freaking pour. They didn't want that fish in there, but they got it. Well, I got everything done that I needed to get done. Uh, the beetle barns are installed and the reducers are installed. Uh, the reducers, when I installed them, kind of pissed them off. I can't tell if they're just angry all the time or they're just angry at me, but it pissed them off and somehow a bee got into my hood and he was crawling around on my neck and you know I was letting him crawl around on my neck but why has he got to sting me I didn't push on him or anything he just stung me right in the neck I think he was going for the jugular but uh end up having to come back over here and take my suit off and there was actually two bees in there I have no idea how they got in there they must have got in through the zippered opening because uh I checked it for holes and stuff, and there are no holes in that suit, so they definitely found the hole, and they got in there, and they went to work. I uh, appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and wait for the next one. Uh, I'm a new beekeeper, and it's going to be an adventure. This is Captain Kenny signing off. Till next time.